When it comes to video games, there's a specific word we often use to describe our shared experience with them. Fantasy. I'm not talking about the genre, rather the imaginative state. Let's break this down. This is how the Cambridge Dictionary defines fantasy. The Oxford definition isn't too far behind. The key thing to keep in mind is this. Fantasy is not of this world or reality. Fantasy is unknown to us and shall remain so, and thus you have fantasy's allure. We crave so much that we can never have, thus we escape to literature, film, TV, or music to evoke and provoke feelings deep down inside of us. Before video games came along, you could only consume these mediums and react to them. Participating in a book was never an option. Upon the inception of video games, we quickly realized that they weren't just for entertainment, they were the ability to fulfill wishes. Let's go back to the first widely available computer game, Space War which involved two spaceships duking it out in, you guessed it, space. The game set a precedent for the future of games being about the possibilities of the imaginable. Space War owns a legacy that is still felt to this day. Gaming was made for fantasy. Over time, of course, the idea of fantasy has evolved. Namely, it's diversified. Instead of solely focusing on experiences out of this world, they've become more grounded. What you have now is the ability to not only visit space or an outside world, but to experience something that maybe you wouldn't be able to experience in normal life, or something that you maybe even shouldn't. Fantasy takes many shapes and forms, but one of the most popular in video games is the power fantasy. These find the player character typically being in a position where they can exercise their full power with little to no consequence, or at least give the full illusion of that. Grand Theft Auto became the arbiter of the modern open world game in the face of the gangster fantasy in gaming. The Saints Row series attempted to do the same thing before they leaned into the absurd. Saints Row shifted from the gangster fantasy to the over-the-top superpower fantasy and goes beyond that with silly options to maximize the player's freedom. If you want to experience the pirate fantasy, Rare Studios' upcoming Sea of Thieves might be the game for you. If you wish to experience the monster hunter detective fantasy, there's a series of fantastic RPGs just for you. The point here is that there's a game that likely fulfills one of the many power fantasies that occupy one's mind, and as games continue to grow, the capabilities of these fantasies increase. We no longer exclusively speak about the ability to be a superhero or being the world's most elite soldier when speaking of a power fantasy. Power varies from person to person, and the idea of a fantasy is constantly in flux. There are games like The Sims, which gives people the ability to simulate life, and when logged onto the web or watching the news, we're often bombarded with a lot of real-life stress that the idea of simulating an ideal virtual life in a video game doesn't sound too bad. In this case, the power fantasy is the idea of control. Games have allowed us to actually place ourselves into the shoes of characters similar to us. Characters who are experiencing things we can't in ways that we can't in order to relay fantasy. Fantasy in games has evolved. Whether those fantasies are shooting aliens in Galaga or ruling over orcs in Shadow of War or even experiencing the school drama in Life is Strange, at the end of the day, the world you choose to live in, even if it is only for 15 minutes at a time, is your fantasy. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, I'd suggest checking out the Yoki Beast podcast where Ian and I discuss different topics in gaming and nerd culture. Every Friday, we have a new video essay right here on Yoki Beast, so please like the video and subscribe to stay updated. Comment letting us know about your favorite fantasies in gaming. My name is Blessing. You can find me on Twitter at Blessing Jr. You can find Moises, who wrote the script for this video, on Twitter at Platano Ranger. And you can find Yoki Beast on Twitter at Yoki Beast Now.